So earlier this year, I did some recommendations on some web comics on the Tapas platform. But Tapas is an interesting platform as it not only allows for web comics, but also web novels or web novellas to be more accurate in some cases. Normally, you'd have to go to a more specialized website like Wattpad or something like that. But I honestly find Tapas to be the easier option because I'm already there for web comics anyway, so I might as well read a few novels while I'm at it if I'm curious enough. I also find the navigation tools a lot easier than used on Wattpad, and with the community not being so massive, it's a lot easier to find specific series you might be looking for that might fit your niche here or there. Anyway, considering I'm pretending to be a writer on Tapas, I might as well rep some of my other writer fellows as well who have published some written works on Tapas. So the next handful of videos will be based off some of those web novels that I've been reading on the Tapas website. And no, this isn't a convenient excuse to ease up on reading actual books to buy me some more time because I'm behind on reading books right now, which I am, but this isn't an excuse. Now, I guess I'll start this off with something simple and light. Not that really deep into itself right now. Considerably short, I should say, which makes it easier to review. <coughs> that wasn't that wasn't uh, me talking. That was the voice in my head. Uh, yeah. Anyway, the story, the series this time around is called The Monster with the White Hair. The story behind this series is pretty simple on paper. Elijah Westfield is a distant high school boy who likes to spend most of his time away from others. He lives in a world where people train to be monster hunters and then join the MHO or monster hunting organization. No, this is set in a modern world, not the somewhat fantasy world of Monster Hunter. I was kind of disappointed as well when I found that out. Anyway, however, his life is somewhat thrown for a loop when Emily Goodna, and it might be pronounced differently, this is hard to tell because it's written like that, but either way I'm going to say Goodna, joins the class. Emily seems to be the only person that can actually notice him, as everyone else tends to forget he exists, and now he's having conversations with an invisible boy who seems to grant him superpowers. Now the story is kind of a romance between Elijah and Emily, as she's the only person that can see him as most people forget he exists as stated earlier. Even when he's right in front of them, they just don't seem to notice him, which might be a plot point later. It's a pretty decent recurring joke, although it might also be a plot thing considering how often it does pop up, and it might be a destiny thing considering her ability to actually witness and see him despite his not her not, him not wanting her to. Elijah himself is interesting, he's basically that loner kid that's kind of edgy and all that kind of crap, and while he is kind of edgy, he never goes full-blown edgelord as of yet, and he's just trying to live a peaceful life avoiding others. Emily, for her part, seems to be the only person who actually likes him and tries to casually approach him, in some effort to be friends and get along with each other. The pair have an interesting dynamic that's more akin to some anime, but without the whole I can change him aspect of it, as she does seem content with who Elijah is as a person and just wants to get to know him more, at least for right now since they're still early on in the series. But again, these two characters do work well together and that's the point of a romance series. Even though this is more of a show and action series right now, but the romance has promised to come later. Unfortunately, as I keep saying, the plot is very early on and it's run. So we don't have a lot of stuff to go into, although again the writer has promised the romance between Elijah and Emily coming up, and considering the character direction, this might be a slow paced romance, which I'm perfectly fine with. I don't really kind of imagine these two rushing into a romantic relationship. I kind of imagine it being very slow paced, especially considering how withdrawn Elijah is as a person. The series' action scenes are actually pretty decent and are well serving. There have only been two of those in the series so far and they're pretty quick but extremely bloody, showing how brutal monsters are in this universe. Now let's talk more about the series, but as I keep stating earlier, at time of recording there are only about 11 chapters, or more like 10 as one of our is author's notes, so yeah, not a lot to talk about, which probably made it a terrible choice to start up with, but that's what I chose and that's what I did. I'm sure a ton of my curiosities will be answered over time, such as the history of this world or where the monsters themselves come from, but I'm giving these questions a pass for later because, you know, the story's still really early on and these might be answered a lot later. We don't even have a full explanation about what the title means, except for us referring to Elijah who does have white hair, but it might also be referring to the fact he might be a monster experiment. We don't know yet. It's stuff to be revealed later. I'll 
basically leave it as this for right now and hope this story does pick up over time. This, this will be one that I might revisit to discuss again after more revelations come out, which may mean I'm going to have to make a follow-up series about ongoing projects. Oh, well, we'll figure that stuff out when we get to it. Either way, this does come pretty well recommended if you're looking for something quick and easy to read. So yeah, please take a look at this one if you get the chance to.